Hello and welcome to Lydia Hawk Designs. Today we're going to go over the short rows for my All Occasions Cabled Flat Cap. Here is the finished flat cap. Short rows are the kind of lift you would create, for instance, in a sweater. Anytime you want to create a lift um, in a sweater, it would be where your neck meets your shoulders. In this case, the lift is in the very back top of my hat. As you can see, it creates a nice little lift before it goes into just the very back of the hat. And because I have this really nice decorative cable decoration on top, I really wanted to blend the end of the cable into the short rows. You can see the turns of the short rows so I wanted it all to blend together instead of just chopping off the end of the cable pattern. I just didn't think it looked very nice. And this way, it looks very decorative. It's beautiful. It blends in nicely. So let's see what that looks like. I have recreated the top back of the pattern just before we start our short rows. Now after you work row 58, it says continue to instructions for row 59. That's because immediately after that page is the chart. It's the visual instructions for the cable pattern, the top of the hat. If you're not using that, then you can skip to the instructions for row 59. So now we're gonna work our short rows. The instructions say, now we're slowly phasing out the design and adding lift to the back of the hat. Row 59. And if it helps, use a ruler. I'm just gonna go ahead and place a ruler so I can follow one line at a time. But before we start, what we're doing is we're working row 59. We're eliminating three stitches every time we turn. We're dwindling down the row and then we purl row 60. So let's see what that looks like. It says knit five. Now we've got 42 stitches on our needle. So we're gonna knit five. One, two, three, four, five. So we've knit five. Now it says work 34 stitches in established pattern. So our established pattern is our cable pattern. Next stitches are purl. So 34 stitches, let's see, say one, two in purl, three, four in knit, five, six in purl, seven, eight in knit, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. See how I just switched to knit? Now we're purl again. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, back to knit, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. With three stitches left on our needle because we're still working row 59, we haven't finished it, we're creating short rows. So now we're going to turn. Now it says purl six. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. Work 24 stitches in established pattern. So 24 stitches. We've got knit stitches here, so one, two, purl, three, four, knit, five, six, seven, eight, nine, purl, ten, knit, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, purl, fifteen, knit, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, purl, twenty-one, twenty-two, knit, twenty-three, twenty-four, my little tail tangled up in there and then it says purl six one two three four five six so once again we're leaving three stitches unworked we're doing this every time we turn it's called a short row and before we even go on, let's say you for you're, you missed how many you've worked and you want to go back and count. Well, you have to remember when you're counting to leave out the, all the stitches you did not work. And you can see every time you turn that there's just a bit of a gap. We know that we've left off three here and now when we turn again, we're gonna see that same gap on the other side. And those little gaps will help you keep track of where to stop and start counting if you lose track of how many stitches you've worked. So moving on, it says knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six then it says work 27 stitches in established pattern we've got purl to begin with so one two knit three four purl five six seven eight nine, knit, ten, purl, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, knit, fifteen, sixteen, purl, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, Knit 21, 22, purl 23, 24, 25, 26, oh, it's still knit, 27. So we'd already left off three. Now we're skipping three more. There are six before we turn. And there are going to be six on the other side. We're dwindling these rows down and we're creating that lift. Purl seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And our next is knit, so I'm going to prepare for that. 
Work 16 stitches in established pattern. One, two, three, four, purl, five, six, knit, seven, eight, nine, ten, purl, eleven, knit, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Oh, but did we really get 16? If we go back and count, we have to leave off six. Said pearl seven, two, four, six, seven, 16 in established pattern, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six. Yes, we did good. Okay, and then pearl seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we have three more stitches unworked for our short rows. Work 27 stitches in established pattern. So we start with knit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, knit, thirteen, purl, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So now we have nine stitches on our needle and we turn purl six one oops one two three four five six knit three one, two, three, one, knit four, one, two, three, four, purl one, knit three, one, two, three, and purl six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Work 21 in established pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21. One, two, now there are four sets of three stitches. 12, we turn. Purl seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, knit four, one, two, three, four, purl seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four sets of three, so twelve, and we turn again. Knit seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, purl four, one, two, three, four, knit four, one, two, three, four. Now we have one, two, three, four, five sets of three skipped stitches. Purl five, one, two, three, four, five, knit two, one, two, purl five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, sets of three, knit nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn. Now we're really getting at the end here, so we just left all of this on one line. Purl six, one, two, three, four, five, six, turn. And now we're going to knit 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Might be easier to see this way, but now we've got that lift. That little bit of a lift. We've also phased out our pattern. And in the end, again, it looks like this. And by the time you turn and you purl, you have finished the top of the hat. And I think it blends in really nicely. This is my preference for my pattern. I think it is very attractive and even. And if that, if there was ever any confusion about short rows, I hope that clears it up. Thank you so much for visiting my channel, for buying my pattern. If you haven't bought my pattern yet, if you ever have any questions, please reach out to me. I answer very quickly. I have lots of other patterns for sale on my LydiaHawk.com website. I put a lot of love 
a lot of thought into everything I create. I want it to be as seamless as possible. Even if it is an advanced pattern, even if it is a little complicated, I want anyone to be able to recreate my patterns. I think the cap is gorgeous. It looks great on men and women. Uh, I love it so much. Sometimes I still wear them in the summertime. I also have a cotton version of this hat. If you live in really hot weather, cotton is perfect for hot weather. Wool is obviously perfect for colder weather. Thank you so much. If you love my patterns and my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell for instant notifications. And I take commissions. If there's anything at all that you would like to see in pattern form and you cannot find it anywhere, send me a message through lydiahawk.com. I have a special form just for commissions and I will respond as quickly as I can. Thanks again and happy knitting.